if you're a parent and you have children that are going back to school this period i want you to stop whatever you're doing right now and watch this video to the end because the knowledge you're going to be getting from this video is capable of saving your children's life now and also in the future a lot of people actually um yeah, try to have a, their way around going for regular going for regular health check and when it comes to this period when schools are even demanding that you present a, a very comprehensive health report of your child some people still think that it is not necessary it is time wasting it is money wasting and if um, like they want to have a way around it i want to tell you that it is actually for your own good and for your, the good of your children because personally i have seen children come from schools to the dialysis unit because of something was wrong and i want to tell you that most sickness if dictated on time solving them becomes very very what easy and they become less vital sickness like um, kidney disease chronic kidney disease when dictated on time you can actually manage it that before it gets to kidney failure it will actually take time even the uh, same goes to um, cancer and different um, health conditions that actually affect humans today so now for your child that is going back to school which tests is very very important for them okay i'll start from test number one test number one is that you have to do a blood sugar test okay the blood sugar test that is more likely to you are more likely to do or that's going to be give us that's going to give us a very good result is the fasting blood sugar so make sure that your child gets a fasting blood sugar test before he goes back to school so this is what enables to know if he has diabetes or not so if you're looking at me can a child get diabetes yes a child can actually develop diabetes all right so going to number two is blood pressure check i know this one often we don't even uh, mind uh, we don't even check for children like you say ah this is a child how can a child be checking um um, high blood doing blood pressure check was the child thinking many children have developed this high blood pressure at a very tender age and because we neglect checking children's blood pressure this thing this blood pressure goes as far as causing serious damages to their internal organs and by the time you know it they are rushed to the hospital for a what emergency so this period this back to school period they are going back the children are going back to school i'm going to be doing investigations for them i want you to do what to do a lab uh, to do a blood um, pressure check very very important the two tests i've called here um, blood pressure check i've called um i've called diabetes um, fasting blood sugar they are very very important now let's go to number three of this investigation you have to do a kidney function test remember i said i've seen cases where children are rushed from school boarding school where they are from um, um day school where they are rushed to the hospital and what the next thing that they'll be needing is dialysis so if you have a child with you that is going back to school it is very very important that you actually enroll this child to the hospital where they will actually do a kidney function test for this birth for this child okay moving away from that you know the importance of um, kidney health cannot be overemphasized in fact this um the um, youtube channel is actually dedicated to discussions about our kidney health so if you want to know more about our kidney health you can click you can watch other videos after watching this okay so in this channel we have a lot of them so moving away from that your child that is going back to school it is very important if you are here in nigeria that you actually do a malaria and typhoid test very important so by the time you do these two tests you actually treat them very very well treat them and make sure that your children are fit to go back to school because it's not actually okay that when your children goes back to school they're not calling you to come back that in Kichi is having headache in Kichi is having typhoid and malaria this child will be missing school for two three days or even sometimes it runs into a week or maybe another the time they'll call you that um, dummy is having malaria you know, you know all those things are not actually um, needed all right so you need to actually do what and check for malaria and typhoid and treat accordingly remember that you shouldn't treat on your own you should also uh, uh, and always allow a qualified medical personnel to handle your case so what am i saying in essence visit the hospital and let these conditions be handled if they are present okay so moving away from that another very important investigations that you should do for your child is the hiv and hepatitis b um, tests 
Okay, if you're asking how, how will my child develop HIV, you know, um, we place our eyes this period on our children on our children very, very well. So, but it's important because you don't know who these children go out with. No matter how you try to protect them, sometimes they even sneak and go out and you don't know who they are meeting at a particular point in time. You wouldn't know who they are going out with at a particular point in time and you don't know what ha might have happened during this their time of sneaking out or moving out of your site for one or two days so it's actually very important that you note what the uh, hiv and um, hepatitis b c status is before they go back to school so if anything happens per adventure you will know where it started and how to handle it because a lot of things happen out there in the school a lot of things also happen in the house that you may not even be privy to until it becomes a concern so having said this i don't know um that these are the basic um, investigation but the last but not the least i almost forgot this covid 19 test very very important okay you know this period a lot of people came back from abroad summer holiday everything everything so there's every likelihood there will be a surge or a surface of covid 19 so before you send that baby to school, I want you to do um, a COVID um, PCR test to know what's going on with the, your baby and with your children, with your world. Okay, so I'm Honorable Victory, your kidney health coach. I know that you learned a lot from this video. So one thing you're going to do for me is to share this video to every parent that you know, because this is the time for us to save the future generation. The World Health Organization, uh, there's a statistics out there. I don't know if it is World Health Organization or uh, another thing that says that the um, life expectancy of Nigerians is very low, between 45 to 55 years of age, very, very low. Where in other climes, you get it almost like 70 something, 80 something, but that of Nigeria between 45 to 55 years of age, I think around that um, range. So it is our uh, core responsibility, it's our collective responsibility to ensure that this life expectancy is improved and if it must improve, the next generation should be um, a focal point and for them to be a focal point, these investigations have actually um, um, raised is something that is a must do for them then, uh, sorry, let me add this, the last but not the least. It's just coming up, so let me just add this. So, if you have a female child, okay, that has entered into puberty, it is also very important that you also check for, check them for PT, pregnancy test, or you do the HCG test for them, okay? Just to be double sure, not like you're suspecting them, not like anything happened, just to know, so that you'll be able to know when it happens and know those things now. Mm -hmm. So, nothing takes you by surprise. So, as a parent, one thing that you have to do is to do what? To be on guard. So, like I said, if this video interests you, do what? Share. Thank you.